I'm excited to introduce to you Jeff Garacia, Chief Innovation Officer from Marmon Holdings to the stage. Thank you, Stephen. Uh, I am Jeff Karasha, the Chief Innovation Officer at Marmon Holdings, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit today about how we're using uh, Amazon Web Services. Uh, but first, I should probably tell you a little bit about Marmon, because we are likely the biggest Chicago company you have never heard of before. Uh, we're actually an $8 billion subsidiary of Berkshire Hathaway, um, and we are focused on the business-to-business -business market. So we make a variety of industrial products and have some industrial services. Um, and we actually operate 175 independent businesses, which means as a chief innovation officer, I try to visit all of them. And unfortunately, we're actually acquiring them faster I can visit them. Um, and we have 14 very diverse business sectors. And that's important to us because we can't have a one-size-fits-all solution. We make a variety of products from engineered components to retail technologies to crane and rail car leasing. Uh, we make the tiny little screws that keep your phone watertight if you should accidentally drop it in the pool or someplace else. Uh, and we also make big giant rail tank cars that bring oil to market. Uh, we make safety gloves for your hands. We make the uh, mining flashlights that uh, they use when they go down into uh, uh, coal mines and gold mines. Uh, we make commercial ovens that cook pizzas and uh, uh, steaks and fish in hotels. We make water softeners, and we also make a lot of the pipes that carry medical gases around hospitals. In short, we're an industrial manufacturing company, and that's what we really want to be. That's what we're good at. But at the same time, we want to be able to use all the latest and greatest technology to support our customers and bring better products to the market. And with our partnership with Amazon, we can do that without having to become an IoT company ourselves. When we started to think about how we could transform in manufacturing, we knew we had to be digital. But as we began looking at that, we were worried about some things. There was a lot of complexity. What platform to use? What tools to use? There was significant cost in many cases. And a lot of times, we found constraints that prevented us from moving as fast as we'd like to in the market. We knew we needed to find an alternate solution. And fortunately, with AWS, we were able to do that. We found a path forward. It provided the simplicity, the affordability, and perhaps most importantly, the flexibility we needed to go into the digital era. We could be a great manufacturing company thanks to AWS with all the technology we needed. Our journey into the digital world really began with beverage dispensing, which is also where I began my career at Marmon. Our company, Cornelia, started to deploy digital dispensers into the field and saw that there was a need for connectivity. The dispensers had large screens to enable digital marketing, and that content needed to be refreshed. They could collect data on what products were being sold to consumers, and that needed to be uh, analyzed and interpreted to identify trends. They also had onboard sensors to tell us how the machine was performing, which were designed to be accessed by the technician standing next to them, but could be accessed remotely if we could figure out how to make that connectivity. We also saw that there was probably some opportunities to generate new revenue streams and new business models with digital services. However, because at the time we were putting all the data onto the machines and taking it off of the machines with USB sticks, it wasn't really cost effective. We needed IoT. We needed that connectivity. We actually got started on a platform other than AWS. And I will tell you that our initial efforts were somewhat complex and were quite expensive. Um, all of the programmers that we were employing had to learn special programming languages in order to develop these platforms. Um, it took several weeks for them to do that, which made it longer to roll things out. They had high license fees, so they were fairly expensive. And we also had to purchase and maintain expensive servers, so it started to feel like we were becoming an IoT company. We also couldn't find a lot of help because of the special languages, so we had to do most of the work on our own. It wasn't a really good place to be. We couldn't commercialize. AWS, though, provided a structure that was both easy to explain and easy to present to customers. It could link our machines to the cloud. It had the tools we needed to manage and analyze data. And it could support our customers, both small and large. It was the solution that we needed. 
We roll it out and we found all those benefits we were looking for. Simple, affordable, and a flexible tool that we needed. We could do everything with AWS from development to analytics using tools that they already had. We could scale up very quickly because of the Lambda and serverless capabilities. We found that it was 70% less expensive than what we'd been using before. So that was a pretty important thing. And it also had all the redundancy for our data that we were looking for so we could make sure we could always operate our business. The IoT platform was actually one of the tools I took with me when I left Cornelius and made the transition into the chief, operating, excuse me, chief innovation officer role at Marmot. We're now using this platform from AWS across many of our businesses, including engineered components, food, and water. And today I'm going to talk to you about a couple of examples, uh, one dealing with burgers and one dealing with screws. So, you know, some very non-tech things. Um, you may have heard of the nursery rhyme that talks about how the kingdom was lost for want of a nail. Well, sometimes success really can come down to a single screw. And I will tell you one of the worst conversations you ever will have with your boss is, hey, I had to turn off the factory because we ran out of screws. Screws that cost on average two cents or less. It's not something you want to do. And with our new stock program built upon the AWS cloud, you don't have to. We actually deploy connected sensors with our stock system onto the shelves of our customers' inventory racks. And when they take screws to use, we know to replenish them. We can do that through a cloud-based system with no need for a purchase order or an invoice. It means you never run out of screws in addition to being simple and easy. We're also using our AWS platform to help manage the transition from frozen to fresh beef in the fast food industry. We're helping to drive that while also innovating our product using tools from AWS. One of our companies, Silver King, makes a special unit that actually holds both frozen and fresh beef side by side uh, so that it can be ready to cook. Uh, it has temperature sensors to make sure that the fresh beef doesn't get too warm. Um, we provide remote monitoring of that so we can actually send text message alarms to the store managers to tell them when they're approaching a potential danger zone. Most of the time, that's actually caused because uh, the people working at the store leave the door to the system open. Uh, because as it turns out, teenagers who uh, work in fast food, or fast food restaurants leave refrigerated doors open just like they do at home. <laughs> we also, though, saw with this um, almost every shift that there was a temperature alarm taking place. And when we investigated, what we found was is that when they were restocking the refrigerator, they were pushing the trays in too far, and that was actually disrupting the flow of cooling air, causing the temperature to spike a little bit. We could tell them to, to do that with training, but we actually used that data to change the product design from our alpha to our beta version, putting in bump outs so that you couldn't push the tray in too far. That actually helped us solve the problem from ever happening again. We're actually experimenting with some new technology from AWS, including facial recognition and voice recognition technology. Uh, we actually have that deployed on a dispenser at uh, AWS here in Chicago, uh, which allows customers to get uh, advanced loyalty programs from us and consumers to order their cherry lime diet Coke without actually having to have their wallet in their hand. We've built a platform that we call MIM, uh, using AWS tools to connect our machines to the cloud and we've used AWS and its partners to bring it to life. We collect data from thousands of machines and analyze it so that we can have the insights to drive our business forward. In short, AWS has been the tool that we need to be a manufacturing company with a digital future. It's given us the simplicity, the flexibility, and the affordability that we need to be successful in business. Thank you very much.